Now that I've got the electronics pretty much done and the uh, AC inlet done and mounted, I'm ready to do the panels, um, both in the back and the sides, as well as the top hat. So I'm going to go ahead and go over that next. And for this part of the project, you're going to need VHB tape as well as uh, M3s and M8s. And the first thing that's going to go on is the back panel. Here's the square that I got with my kit. I've already used a little bit of it. Um, hopefully that'll be enough, but I know there is a lot of tape required. Luckily it's a, it's easy to source. I would recommend using a hobby knife like this one over uh, scissors because this stuff gets really gunky and gooey. And if you have a cutting mat like I've got here, um, you can just cut it right on top of that. This is like a self-healing mat, so it's intended to be cut on. You are going to need these four plastic pieces and this uh, additional piece for the clip. Um, you're also going to need your panel. Okay, I went ahead and applied VHB tape to both of these pieces. The next thing that I'm going to do is apply them to the uh, panel. Now make sure when you are, before you put them on, that you're remembering which side you want to face the printer. In my case, this will face the front. And then you're going to just simply mount these um, at the bottom and make sure the hole is at the top. <clears throat> at first I was thinking they were the other way, but, and you want it to be flush at the bottom of that edge. So get it as flush as you can. So this piece should, should be flush with that edge. And then the other thing you're going to want to do, of course, is make sure that <clears throat> it fits on your, uh, that your uh, nuts line up with the hole. So get, go ahead and get those ready as well before you try to attach it. And then the other pieces will be these. And these are just going to go in place here with some tape. Okay, yeah, so these will go on here flush with the top as well. I just need to put some tape on those and we'll be ready to put it on as well. And then you have to put this middle piece on and that goes like that. Okay, I just wanted you to see the placement of the tape on these. Um, so I think that'll be fine. And what you're going to do now is you're just going to line them up the very top all the way in and then just make sure they're flush I noticed there's a little tiny bit of overlap with the screw hole so you might have to back it up just a tiny bit I don't think that's gonna be an issue because it, it should move but just basically do that on both sides and that should be all that's needed now you're ready to insert the back panel Oh, I almost forgot this middle one. <clears throat> um, I'm going to measure it and then just basically split the difference and kind of mark it. That way I know exactly where to put it. So mine was about <clears throat> 250 millimeters from top to bottom, maybe a little bit less than that. So I'm going to go right around 120, maybe a little less than 125, so right about here. I don't think that it has to be precise on this part. Now you're going to need some 3x6s for a couple of the screws. Um, specifically these very top ones that go into the uh, the heat inserts and then you're also going to need some m 3 by 8s for the rest okay I got this first one screwed in the, the instructions did say 3 by 6s at the top but I found that the 3 by 6s were too short so I went ahead and used um, 3 by 8s and you just use those on the rest of everything so um, it's a nice tight fit uh, so far and just make sure you get things lined up real well and then basically you're just gonna screw everything in. All right, after screwing mine in, that's what I've got. Looks pretty good. Okay, the next piece I'm gonna do is this side panel, which is the front right. Um, mine actually has covers on it, on the acrylic, but um, I've just got it laying here temporarily with that on there. One thing that you're gonna wanna know, it's a little different than the back panel, so these are gonna be centered over the middle of the extrusion, both on the bottom and the top, and then you're going to use your preloaded T nuts. You should have three in each channel, um, and you're going to basically very similarly mount uh, the 3D printed parts to that to hold it in place. Okay, when you're doing these front right, this front right panel, make sure that you have the side with the hinges like this. I just went ahead and stuck them on. Okay, as you can see here, I've got all the screws in the corner panels. As you can see here, I've got all the parts out for this left hand side. I'm going to go ahead and get these taped and then I'm going to put my um, acrylic sheet on there just like the other sides. Just went ahead and sunk the last screw and now everything's looking pretty good so hopefully that gives you an idea of how the left side looks.
now I'm going to do the front, and that's going to require these four pieces here. These don't have any holes in them. Um, you're, we're also going to need the handle and these little pieces with the magnets. One thing that I did notice is that these T-nuts are spaced out enough that I'm not going to be able to put both screws in this piece because these are pretty close together. Um, unfortunately, I would have to tear this thing down quite a bit, like take off this extrusion and this foot. It's probably not a huge deal actually to do that, but I'm going to try it with one screw and see if it works. I think it'll probably work fine, but just something to be aware of. So that's a spot where those T-nuts are probably not a good idea. So same as the last process, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, tape these in. Uh, luckily at this point, I still have a fair amount of tape, so I should be fine. Okay, when you're doing the front panel, uh, your pieces should be laid out like this. Again, there's no holes on it, but there are hinges. So this piece, make sure that you have it set like this and you're gonna need a M3 screw. Same with this bottom right piece. Um, and that's gonna have a screw in it as well to complete the hinge. And pay attention when you're putting this on uh, just to make sure that you have everything on the right side. All right, to finish up the front panel, you basically need to just go ahead and put in an M325 screw here. I actually had to screw it in. It's more like a self-tapping because um, the, the, you know, fits a little tight, which is good. You don't want it coming out. And then on this one, up here in the top, you actually need an M340. And I just got done doing that one. So I've got everything where it should open and close now. Yep. Now all I got to do is the handle and uh, then I'll have the front done. Now I'm going to take my magnets and I'm going to insert them into these little pieces here and you're going to need to do two in each and you got to pay attention to the polarity. The way I'm going to do them is um, I'm going to stick them in from this direction and I'm also going to put an, an adhesive on here but you want to make sure that you actually eh, I don't even think they need an adhesive those are going in pretty tight but make sure that you you make them all the same way whoa so they <laughs> these are pretty strong magnets as you can tell um but you want to make sure that when you um you don't want them to repel like right now they're repelling so whatever way you stick them in make sure that's again consistent so when you do go to latch it it does that but yeah i'm not even going to bother uh gluing them because I don't think they're going to move around because they're going to be screwed in against the extrusion there like that. But you may want to. Okay, so I've got them in both pieces. Um, oh, yeah, they're strong. So, all right, and then I'm going to go ahead and put these in the handle, and I want to make sure that the handle, you know, they're also in the correct orientation so that they latch when it closes. Okay, so these are looser. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and. I think I'm gonna glue these because otherwise they're probably gonna pull loose. But before you glue them, just double, triple check. You might wanna just stick them like that to make sure that you know that they latch and then you can glue them down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my, uh, I've got some super glue here. So I'm gonna do it one at a time just because I don't trust myself. So what I did was I stuck the magnet on here so I know for sure it's gonna work when I glue it because um, you don't want to have to redo this and then I just peel it off and then you probably just want it to um, set there for a little bit just long enough so it stays in place and doesn't move okay the smart way to do this um, is not the way that I started doing it which I was trying to do one at a time right next to each other that's a bad idea because they're just gonna hop out so do the the top one and the bottom one let it dry for a little while and then do the next one Otherwise, you're going to end up with a mess on your hand, <clears throat> literally. So my fingers are a little sticky. Okay, so I've just finished adding these two pieces here, and I went ahead and put an M3 by 8 in here. It looks like one screw is going to be plenty, so if you use the T-nuts and, you know, you can't get it in there, um, just snug it down real good, and I don't think it's moving anywhere. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is basically close the door as it's on its back like this, and then I'm gonna just um, put the handle in place and make sure it kind of looks about like it should, which that, that seems to be pretty good. Um, and then that's just gonna, you know, cause everything to latch up, which is nice. Okay, and that looks a little better. Um, so I've got them lined up pretty well. 
Okay, so now I've got some um, red VHB tape, and I'm going to put it, basically glue it to the gla to the um, acrylic now, and then that will pretty much complete this step. And the nice thing about this is you can use your magnets to help you, so they should draw it right down to where it needs to go. Um, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, here's the door in action. Pretty nice. Works as expected.